Hey guys, it's Maddie, and Happy New Year. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys a room tour because so many of you have asked for me to give you a room tour. So here it is today. like so this is why I decided to make a new year's resolution to be tidier because as you can see it's pretty messy toys out all over the place and clothes my bed's also a disaster what happened it's just a big mess so sometimes at the beginning of the new year people would think of New Year resolutions. And if you guys don't know what New Year resolutions means, it means when someone sets a goal for the new year or try, or let's say uh, you want to improve reading because last year you weren't so good. Then you would say, okay, for this new year, I'm gonna try and be better at reading. But that's just an example. That's kind of what they do, is try and make a goal to do something better or just in general. And so my resolutions for 2019, is to be neater because most of the time my room is a bomb. Like there's clothes everywhere, there's toys everywhere, there's garbage everywhere, and sometimes I even have dirty bowls of food in my room. And that's pretty gross. But that was more so when I was younger. <laughs> like I leave my stuff everywhere around the house. Garbage can be in our living room like everywhere so i'm gonna work on being way neater because i'm super messy another thing i need to work on is being on time for school and dance because i'm usually really late <laughs> and that's not good i want to be early so i can start fresh with a great day not trying to be old panic like hey i gotta get ready and blah 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 so it's not such a rush after school or in the morning Leave a comment down below what your guys' New Year resolutions are. I'd love to hear them. I just can't wait to see what they are. I wonder if they're going to be somewhat closer to mine or different to mine. And this is my room now. Can you believe it? Look at how clean my floor is. First, we're gonna start off by my door. So here is my positivity wall. So it's like this tree and it has a bunch of flowers and then it has some notes that have made me happy and fill my heart with joy and love. This one says Madison, cause um, I got this book for Christmas, Dangles. You will remember that from my video of me showing you all the things I got. My mom tried to do it, but she didn't have the book. She just tried her best. And then it says, love you sweetie, and I hope you enjoy your weekend with daddy. See you soon, heart mommy. And then she has a bunch of XOs around it. And then up here, this one says, wishing you a possum day. Heart XO XO, heart XO XO mommy. And I love the cat, look at how silly it's looking. I got this one today from my mom. She always makes me feel happy. I have some pictures on my wall of ballerinas. The bottom one's my favorite. So this is my side table and it has my marquees board on it and I still have the same thing. I'll have to change it soon. And then right here I have some squishies that I made by myself. So these are homemade ones. I have to fix this one, it's kind of getting a rip, but this one's really good. I actually used real squishy foam for this one. This was a few years back. It was a few days before my cat Nala passed away. I miss her so much. She was so cute and fluffy. And I just store miscellaneous stuff down in the bottom. And then I do have like some picture books. This one has my cat. This was a book that my mom made after Nala died. So this page has a whole bunch of pictures of me. This was me when I was a baby, pretty close to a toddler. And then this is me and my mom at Christmas time. And then Nala's over here and that's Gabe when he was a baby and me also. We were together a lot when we were younger. And it has a whole bunch of different pictures. 
This is one of my favorite pages. I try and put her in my baby clothes. <laughs> and then I put her in my tutus and scarves. And then, oh, this one. <laughs> she looks like an old grandma wearing some cool sunglasses. I remember when we took this picture. It was so funny. And then this is some of my favorite pages. This was now when she was a little kitten. This one's so cute. She's trying to hide in a little hat. That's my mom when she was really young when she first got Nala. And then I have a whole bunch of different books like some picture books of me and then I have some like scrapbooks. So I keep just like some miscellaneous stuff down there. And then up here in this drawer, I don't think I went through this, but it's still pretty messy. And I have like some medals here from math things that I've did before. And then I have dancing awards. So it's my dance passport. And this is where I did it. And then here is my tooth fairy. So I put the tooth in here and then the tooth fairy will leave me some coins. Here's my magic eight ball. I have the perfect question to ask it. Will my room always be neat? It says, without a doubt, yes! That means no more messy, messy room for me. This is one of the favorite things I have on here. It's one of these stress balls. When you squeeze it, it changes colors. One of my favorite things to do with this is squeeze it until all the bubbles on it get really big and then squeeze them. It just feels so cool. Like, or push them in. I love it. And then it's also a really good stress reliever. And then you might be wondering what this little piece of paper is. This is actually, um, it's kind of weird what it says on the front. It says slime words. And actually a whole bunch of my different friends have asked me to make them slimes. So I have a whole bunch of slimes to make them. I have six slimes in total. And one of my friends asked for two. So I have to make her two slimes. I don't know how I'm gonna fit all of it in. So I don't know if you guys have kept track of your height, but I have. So this is my height tracker and it has some pretty cute pictures. All the way at the bottom is July 22nd, 2009. That's my birthday. And it was my birth and I was 21.6 inches. And then when I was six months old, I was 26.25 inches. And then we keep going up and here's my first birthday. Look at how cute I am. I look so happy. And then this is my second birthday. This is when I first got my glasses. My third birthday. And this is my fourth birthday. We had a face painter that year. And right now I'm currently four feet and six inches. And that's for me when I was nine years old. I'll quickly open my closet and on the knobs, I put some of my pick me pops and it freshens up the smell in my room. Cause my closet was a bomb and I've tidied it up. So I have like all of my shirts here. And then I kind of have like my drawers of dance clothes, socks, all of that stuff. Above my closet says believe and it has a whole bunch of butterflies. So at nighttime, when I'm sleeping in my room, I can see all the butterflies and they glow so bright. It looks beautiful. Oh, and there's some dragonflies up there. So we have a mirror for when I'm getting ready and then here I have this huge um, stuffy bin and it's where I keep all of my Beanie Boos. And some of you guys might be wondering what this one is. This is my little angel stuffy. It's a little bunny and I got it when I was first born. It's really special to me. And then here's like some teething things from when I was younger when I was starting to get in my teeth so I could chew on it. I love it, it's so cute. And then at the bottom I have some of my really small ones and keychains. And I can't really pull this one out, otherwise it brings out a whole bunch of others because I connected all of them. And then here is my bed for my baby lives and then it also has a bottom bed, which you can pull out so it's like a bunk bed almost. 
and then this one has a pillow and some sheets. Oh my gosh. I just noticed this. There's a Dora sheet under here. It's from when I was younger. My mom made me one and a matching one for my dolls. So this is the one for my dolls. And I think I folded mine up in there, but of course it wouldn't fit me then because I was a lot smaller. It might be just like a half body blanket. It's just like, oh, it's so cozy. Just not that much on my legs. It probably wouldn't fit so well. And then I fold them up so it kind of fits. I think I'm just gonna put this one on the top because I usually use this bed for my babies and sometimes my American girls. And in my room, I have a few of these storage cubbies. So this one has lots of my dolls and other things. Here's some of my spirit girls and horse. Then we have my poopsies and their slime supplies. Then at the top, we have another spirit set and a LPS house. And then I have some briar horses and accessories. So this is all of my horses. And then here's my poopsies and slime. So I have a whole bunch of slimes in here, including my fave cotton and candy cuties. And these are two of the slimes that my friend made. Friend made me. This one's called fairy dust slime. And then the bottom one is frozen yogurt slime. And then here I have my briar dolls. So this has all of my Briar dolls and their horse saddles and accessories. Then this is my spirit dolls and horses. So that's, this is the one that goes for my stable. And then these are my smaller Briar horses. So these are like my ponies. And these are my Scooby-Doo figures. Here are some of my Shopkins and they're the larger play sets. And I sometimes use these for my LPS. This is probably one of my favorite drawers. All of my squishies. I love this monkey and it's scented like strawberries. It smells so good. I love scented squishies. When I don't get the scented ones, it's kind of just like, ooh, because it just smells like chemicals and plastic to me. And it's really good when they're scented and super slow rising. This is the other corner of my room and I have my big Beanie Boo Sage here. I think her name's Sage. She's so soft and fuzzy. And here I'll do like texting on my phone or watching YouTube on my iPad. And I might do some other things on my iPad. So I have my phone that I just rested here from when I was texting with my friend. And then I have some pillows. And then this one is one of my favorites. My auntie got it for me. It's a unicorn and you can strap it up if you're not using it. And what I do when I'm not using it is I just Velcro it to the other part. And then it can be stored like a little stuffy. And this is just like a cozy little cubby for me to hang out in. And that's where I usually watch my iPad. I rest my um, iPad up against there and just play and watch YouTube. This is a jewelry box from my great grandma who passed and she gave it to me. And then I have a Smeagol light, a piggy bank, and then on this side I have some Pokemons and trading cards. And then here are my tech toys. So it's a whole bunch of different things that are electronics. Then I have my Polly Pocket, Kawaii dolls, fairies, mini strawberry shortcakes, all in here. Then I have my best furry friends and crystal babies play phones, skipping rope, and a slinky. And then in these two drawers, there's nothing. And then there's some more toys down here, like my enchantables, small dolls, strawberry shortcakes, goldie blocks, and then a whole bunch of my doll clothes. Which is really hard to push back in, so. <laughs> I have way too much. And on the side of my bed, I have this poster from when I went on a school field trip here. And then I had a whole bunch of different people sign this poster. And then for some reason, there's this like screw or bolt. And I just like stuck this little magnet that says heart on it. I don't know why I did it. I just seemed to think it was a good idea at the time. So on the other side of my room, I have some sweaters, bags, and these are my fluffy tails. I have a sleeping mask and another sweater. And I'm wearing one of them, it's my rainbow tail. I love it, it's so fluffy. And it's so rainbow and colorful. 
So up top I have a LPS playset and two of my vending machines. Then I have my briar stable and some headbands. Then I have some LPS accessories. Here are some of my purses. These are my musical instruments. Accessories and pillows. I use this mostly for LPS. And then I have my fidget toys. The yo-yo is my fave, and the pot is also pretty funny. If you press it down lightly, it makes a cute kitty noise, but if you press down on the button here hard, it gets like an angry kitty, and it's really funny. And it also reminds me of my cat, Nala. It's so, it looks so much like a real kitty. It also feels really soft. It just sounds so nice and it's like, it's like the cat that's kind of just gone crazy. It's like, whoa, is that cat okay? And then the four bins on the bottom. On this side I have Moshi Shi and MLP. Oh, maybe you guys don't know what Moshi Shis are. So they're basically these cutie little characters and they're really cute. This dress sometimes kind of falls down, but this is what they look like. And then you can get smaller versions of them. So there's like toddlers and babies. This is one of my toddlers. And then I have some babies in there, but I don't know where they are. There's a lot of things in here. Let me see if I can find a baby. Oh, I found one. They're so cute and small and adorable. Look at her. Or him. Look at how cute it is. And they're also really fuzzy. Here I have bags and purses and miscellaneous accessories. And these bags and purses are for my LPS and dolls. And here's my bunny chair. I've had it since I was a really young kid. And it used to have bows in its ears, but those eventually just came out and never went back in and Maggie sleeps in my room and she'll actually go underneath here and then the head's like really droopy and when the head droops down on her, it's like it's giving her a hug. So on the bottom of my bed, I have storage too. Starting at this corner, I have all of my PJs and I have long sleeves, jumpers, shorts and lots of different ones. This is where I keep all of my LPS and then I have my baby LPS some of their hats, and then my micros. I love all of my old LPS, they're just so cute. All the way back here is my LPS furniture. There's quite a lot in here. So here's the bottom part of my bunk bed and I have a whole bunch of my stuffies here because I have a lot. I love my bunny, this one's so fuzzy. And it also has a little baby. Can't forget it's baby. So I have a whole bunch of stuffies down here. So I keep a book up here and some chapstick. And then here's some of my figurines I have. And I have my stairs that lead up to my top bunk and they also have lots of storage. And all of these four drawers are filled with baby supplies and doll supplies. And then it also has these pads so you don't slip going up. So here's my top bunk. I don't have a lot of stuffies, otherwise I don't think I'd get very much sleep because there'd be stuffies surrounding me. I have my panda here that I got from the zoo. And then I have Lilo and, well, not Lilo, it's Stitch's cousin, Angel. And then we have Stitch over here. And then all the way up here is Razzie. She's my favorite stubby. I've had her for a very long time. You can see that her eyes have kind of gotten all like chunky and her fur is not so fuzzy anymore, but I still love her in my heart. And she got this custom shirt last year for Christmas that says, my heart belongs to Madison. And this is my PJ top and it has Razzie on it and it says loved. That's my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was so fun for me to make. I love showing you all the things I have in my room or some of the things I've decorated. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see me do a night routine or a morning routine. I'd love to do one of those. Bye, see you next time. The end.
Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go banana!